Mr. David Omoyo. At work, I would like to ask whether there is a way, uh, because of the nature of members of parliament that we have, parents, fathers, mothers, and we have a way uh, that we conduct ourselves in parliament. And we have realized that there, is, there seems to be a gap between the way parliament conduct itself in terms of the way people dress, the way we conduct ourselves, and the big team of journalists that we have. Is there a way that we can have a conversation or you can have a conversation with our leadership so that, especially the young, um, <laughs> so that they can up their game, especially on matters of the way they appear, because it is a big concern. I would like to be, I'm very cautious, honorable members, so that I'm not accused of accusing. Yes, so I hope you have understood. Madam Chair, you're a dress code, you're a journalist. Muko Shua, what my journalist? How? Because they could have come for other purposes, not to cover news. Uh, that is rather straightforward. I think we will communicate to the media houses, because even, uh, for example, the state house, they have a simple, straightforward dress code. You are not allowed to come in unless you're dressed in a certain way. I think uh, Martin and Bia but we will communicate about our concern. Actually, 